Um, nah. All right. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Moffat Project. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. Good start. Good start as always. Um, so today we're gonna be working on the Moffat Project again. So uh, yeah. Um, as you can see, uh, today we're gonna be working on the crystal, and then hopefully you know color it up, get it into a right and lovely looking. Uh, well, color, and then hopefully we can then add some more stuff to it that makes it more well unique. Unique. Well, that's the idea, at least. I think that's the idea. Probably the idea anyway. <laughs> oh, hey, blue. <laughs> so yeah, um, I uh, I I really should not uh, try. I really should t member memorize my own keyboard. That would be a very smart thing to do, but uh, you know, I'm not that smart, <laughs> luckily. And I pressed. Uh, what was this one? That was the shading one. Yeah, yeah, that was the shading. All right. So now we're gonna be looking for the. Uh huh. Let me just take a look at this and see where the crystal is. That's the idea. No. 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 I put things off here. Yes, crystals. There you go. Found a crystal. Which is in this section over here. So we already colored the crystal. That's that's for sure. And now we need to make sure that the crystal is looking well. So what did what did when what did went wrong? Um, so let's first take a look at this. So if we have the crystal right here and we have it like that, this is the main idea of it anyway. So we need to get to the crystal, which is this part right here. And we need to grab the color that we need. So we need first the main color. And we need to draw over it. Over this and see like where where did we leave some stuff behind? Where did we not leave some stuff behind? Well it looks like we left some stuff behind here. Which is the grass part. So since the grass part is not on top of it, we now need to look for the grass part, which is this part right here. So the good thing is we can just move it up. We can move the crystal upwards. Over the... There you go. And now we can just, you know, draw the color that we need to draw. And now we can just colored like this. Boom! Easy as that. Alright, now we have the color of this one. So, since that we want to have this a little bit more glowing, we want this to be more... Well, you see, we have... What the hell? What the hell? Did, oh boy. I did something here. I did something. I done goofed something here, and I get bite. Well, don't mind me fixing that problem. All right. So we have this crystal, which we have right here, as you can see, and we need to make it more, you know, interesting to look at. Not pretty, but interesting. So I think we need a second color for this. Or third color. And we're gonna be looking for something more lighted. Like this. Press the right button. And let's see if this works. So we have this color right here. 
I'm going to be casually moving it to the sides of the drawing. No real harm here, just experimenting the coloring so to see what is and what is going to be happening if we implement this into our drawing. So we need to do it on one side and then to the other side as well. Like that. This already gives a little bit more glow to it, which is important because we need this we need this, you know, glowy effect on the crystal. So that's the idea why we are pulling this off like this. We should definitely remove a little bit more. Yes, excellent. Now we have that. We now need to move on to the next part, and that is right here. So we need to do the same here as well. So press the right key binding. This might take a little bit while because we need to also add some more special effects to it as well. So that we have this beautiful glowing crystal in a in the you know in the roots. That is, you know, not pulsating but giving glow to it. And then move it downwards. All right. Now let's see if this works. There you go. So now we need to actually implement this a little bit more better. Two sides. Come on. Work, please. So, yeah. It's a little bit harder to me for me to es estimate like if it's gonna be working or not, because indeed it, it does has its own flaws into it. Boom. Then get to this part. I need to remove some of this. Now we have this effect. Yes. Awesome. Uh, my hand is a little bit sticky on this one. So yeah, all right. Once we implement, you know, the light effect that we want, we then con then we're gonna continue on fixing the parts that we need to fix.
right. Lovely. So now that we have done that, we can now casually remove the parts that we don't want. There you go. And hopefully, you know, this will result into a nice looking crystal that we then can use to shape the surroundings with it. So then after this we need to have like this glow effect on it so that it looks like a rock that you know that the crystal looks like it is glowing instead of you know being just a casual crystal like oh it's just a crystal nothing worried about and then you know you don't have anything to worry about that is not what we want we want to actually have that that the rock does give the uh, g does give the surrounding an effect so it's like a light, like a light source into the night. Well, at least that's the idea. So it is like a beacon. Of course, it's not a big beacon. It's more like a. Eh. Alright, now we have done this, we now need to switch to uh, brush paint, if I'm correct, yes. We need to do that and then we need to make sure the transparency is on 50. Now we need to pick up a new color. So this is all inside of the crystal, nothing else. And now we're gonna... Alright, uh, how do I do it then? If the crystal is not like that, um, I need to fill up the gaps then first. Yes, I do need to do that. And then we need to do that on the this layer right here. Wait, we did not do this on the layer. We did not do this on the layer. Oh, I'm so stupid on this. Uh, I'm gonna put it here then. Which one is lowest? This one is lowest, alright. Is this the rock part? Yes, awesome. I'm gonna put more, one more here and we're gonna go for pure black. I think we need to use the original mouse. Yep. There you go. Now that's filled up. That's filled up. That's filled up. We now need to figure out like where the rocks are. These are the rocks. Now we need to add. Now we need to be very careful here. Looks like we need to also put it here. Lovely. And now we can also go to the other one. This group? No. This group? No. What's the other group? All 
difference. Ah, all right. Uh. Let's go here again. This is the black parts. I'm gonna add the little parts that we forgot. Awesome, and now we can go to the crystal, which is this one. Holy hell, that's creepy. Uh, this one does cost it. This one cost it. Alright. There we go, fixed it. Nice. And now we can go back to the part that we want to light up. So we need now to light it up. So switch it back to the color that we want it. Which is this one, right here. Light it up a little bit so that it is more, co uh, so that's more lightful, like this. Yes. All right, and now we can finally start on the coloring. Looks like we still need some parts here to remove. Uh, let's see if we do this like this does that work no All right which tool we can use then this one yes we can use that but then we need to make sure that we have the capacity to less All right. That will work. And we need to make sure that that is on the uh, it's on the lower side, so it should be underneath everything. It should be only giving the effect, so it should be on the second, third, first. Anyway, I need to I need to see if what I need to do with this. Um, so I have this color, but I need to have a glowing instead. Um, layer style. So it needs to be an outer glow then. Oh. Alright. That will work, but I need to see if I can get color overlay done. Nope. So if I go for that, would that work? Probably yes. 
And then I need to now figure out how to do this part. I need to figure out how to get this color done properly. So we need to erase then with the less good eraser. Yep. So this crystal needs to be like that. If we want to implement the glow, I need to figure out like how do I do how do I mention how do I manage the glow? Uh probably then I also should put it on the outward, so on the root itself where it is contained where it is where it is glowing and shining on. That is a thing that I need to be concerned about. But first then do this one and then we're gonna add the glow to the other parts as well. That's more like it. All right. So now I need to figure out if it is already glowing. Well, it does already look like it's glowing, so that's good. Now I need to make sure that I have everything under control here. Mm. Mm. So then it needs to be also glowing on the on the roots itself. Ah, man, this is gonna be hard, isn't it? I'm gonna be leaving it right now, right here now. I'll come back later on it, or I can do it now. Uh, yes. It is indeed a very hard thing to do now. Um, let me just zoom out here. Does the rock feel like a rock that glows? No, it does not. It does not feel like one. I should add more stuff to it then that makes it feel like it is glowing. Let's see if this works. Then I should put some more light, a lighter glow in the middle. Excellent. And now I need to blend it. Now it does feel like a crystal. Instead of a garbage can a can opener. Nice. You did well. I didn't know that I had it in myself to do this, but uh, I'm very happy how far I got on this. Took me a while to get it, but uh, you know. In the end, I will get to the point. Oh, now it looks way more better than a, now it looks like a crystal. That is some nice crystal. A little more on that side here.
No, no hay eso. Let me go back here, switch that up. Hold on, hold on, that's not good. Also, I should save here, yeah? because this is indeed a very delicate operation. Uh, 20 seconds, 20 minutes, or 27, 26 minutes already done. Nice. Um, There you go. All right. <sighs> All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now we need to get to the roots. To the roots of all evil. Uh, let's see where they, they are. This is the crystal. This is the pot. No. This is the crystal still. We don't want that. We want the roots. The roots are here. Awesome. So we should put a different color on it, like the, in a different layer upon it. So we need the color to be underneath the drawing. So we should put it right here. Now that we have the color, we now need to add a little bit to the left. Now we have the color. And now we need to grab the tool again. And now we need to look for, you know. Well, which color is it? This one, right? Now we're gonna see for like where, how we can put it, implement it. Alright, now we have done that. Now we need to only remove the parts that we don't want. Well, technically first we need to use the blend tool. So blend tool is the first thing we need to get there for. Because this is a light effect, this is nothing more than just a light effect. Of course, the roots are still lacking some coloring depths. All that stuff is still lacking. I hope I did it right. I hope I did.
right. Now let's see if this works. It does create the effect, but is it worth it? No, because I'm, I'm lagging. I'm lagging shading here. I'm lagging shading here. That's the thing. I'm lagging shading big time. Mm. I need to do that later. I have no clue how to do that yet. But we can now already see how it's going to be working out. So that's good. We did this part right here. And I'm very happy how how well it worked out. And uh, I'm very happy how far it worked. Though, you know, lighting is a little bit of a difficult, uh, difficult question to say the least. Mm. Right. Problem is I don't have an inspiration right now to continue, which is a problem. Because you know I did I did a crystal and that was actually my planning for today. I know there was something more that was building the roots up, but uh, I don't feel like it now. Um, just to make sure that I'm not gonna be you know pushing myself to the limits. That is a that's the worst thing to do. Tomorrow we're going to be filling up the little parts here, so the gaps, this one here, we're going to fill that up, and we're going to fill up this gap. So those two gaps are going to be the last thing, that uh, those things are going to be the things that we're going to be filling up tomorrow. And then uh, after that, we are going to make sure that, you know, we're going to add some more, we're going to add the root, we're going to continue working on the roots. So that's what we're going to be doing now, or oh, well, tomorrow then at least. And then uh, hopefully, you know, that will be taking us 50 minutes of time. Sorry that I dis uh, that I miscalculated this one, but uh, I thought I had more work. But uh, yeah, uh, that's a good sign. That's a good sign, by the way. That's not a sign that we're not supposed to be ne uh, ne neglecting. It's a good sign that we now know how 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 far how much it is going to be taking. And that we now know that it is connected to some multiple steps that we cannot afford yet to do. Therefore, you know, it has been put on a hold. Uh, yeah, indeed. Anyway, um, I hope I'll see you all uh, next time. Until then, I wish you a lovely day. And, uh, well, bye!